It's no secret that Games Workshop does not like 3D printers. They don't allow it almost at all in any of their tournaments and you know they allow you to use it but only if it's something that you've made specifically by yourself. 3D printing as a whole they are absolutely against even to the point where they've gone after modelers just for having models that are similar to theirs and to get them completely removed even if there are some glaring things that make it not a Games Workshop model. And I've always thought it was just because they were greedy but after this last Adepticon I'm starting to wonder if it's because they're a little bit greedy and a little bit scared. So why do I think they're scared? Well, I've got a few reasons actually. Reason number one, Adepticon, which happened just a few weeks ago, is normally all about tabletop gaming and miniatures and everything like that and it's a giant venue for all things game workshop but a little bigger than they have ever been in the past this year have been 3d vendors especially loot studios who showed up and just had a ton of things on display they showed people how to 3D print. They showed people the 3D printers that they were using. They had their models on display painted by professional painters. And why is this a problem? Well, because Loot Studios has hundreds of models that they can show. And they range from dragons to mech warriors to just about everything in between. And they all look really good. So why is that a problem for Games Workshop? Well, because they can sell you hundreds of models for $15 instead of selling you 15 models for hundreds of dollars. And so right off the bat, they're already making Games Workshop look bad. And it's not just Loot Studios. Games like um, One Page Rules were there showing off their game, which, hate to say it, is very similar to Games Workshop, very similar to what Games Workshop has. And it's a fraction. And when I mean fraction, I mean one-tenth the cost to get involved into it and to play it. And it's easy to play. So, I mean, right there, they've already got a few things that Games Workshop just can't compete with. So at a con that's all about miniatures and tabletop gaming, a big chunk of it is now 3D printing. And people are seeing more and more every single day just how easy it is to get into 3D printing and to print your own army, to print your own game, to print whatever it is that you want. So realistically, I mean, what does Games Workshop have to compete with that? They have their game. Is it fun? Depends on who you ask. Do you need their rules? Is there other games that you can play, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of that out there. And before it used to be Games Workshop was the game that you went to for these big, beautiful armies. And that's not so much the case anymore. Now, my first reason doesn't really show that they are afraid, but it shows a good reason why they should be afraid. The second one, take it as you will, but to me, it kind of speaks volumes, is that Adepticon is famous for model reveals. It's so much so that there are content creators on YouTube that post videos about guessing what models Games Workshop is going to reveal. And they were let down this time. A lot of them anyway. And it wasn't because Games Workshop revealed models they weren't expecting. It was because Games Workshop didn't reveal some models at all. That's a bit of a downer. <laughs> and I mean, this is their big event. This is, this is one of the biggest events of the year for them where they should be releasing, pulling out all the stops, showing off what they have. But they didn't. Sure, with some things they did. They showed off a couple things that I don't think anyone was too impressed with. But their big announcements, you know, the Adeptus Mechanicus coming to 30k, nothing. The new kill team that's coming out, silhouettes. Age of Sigmar, the new edition of Age of Sigmar with Skaven again. So much potential here. And what models did they show off? None. In fact, a couple days later, they, they came out and said, we're getting rid of 
a ton of models for Age of Sigmar. <laughs> so why is that? Why are they announcing all these things but not showing any of the models for it? I, don't know, I think the answer is pretty simple. The last few times that they've released, this is the new model that we're coming out with. Check out this new model. People were 3D printing them within the week. And no, it wasn't the exact model, but it was a model that was similar to it. Similar enough that most people with a 3D printer were printing them. I remember seeing Tyranids getting painted before the set was even out. And I was wondering how that was happening. And then I realized that it was because somebody was 3D printing these Tyran Tyranid models. So Games Workshop doesn't want that to happen anymore. They're scared of their models getting released before they can release them. And so they're not. They're not showing people what their models are. And maybe you think I'm crazy. But to me, their silence spoke a lot louder than if they had just come and showed off their models. So do they have a reason to be scared? Well, I mean, everyone out there is, you know, says the same thing. They're so big, they're not going anywhere. You know, they can do whatever they want. People are still going to buy. And there's truth to that. I mean, let's be honest. Everyone knows somebody who's just a diehard Games Workshop, you know, Warhammer 40k player that will buy models no matter how much they cost. They'll spend $60 on one model three times just so they can have it for their army. You know, there's always going to be people like that. But then there's people like me. And I know I've talked about this before, but one thing changed for me, and that was these guys. This is not a Games Workshop model. This is not a Space Marine. This is not anything 40K, but I will be using it for 40K. And the reason for that is simple. My two favorite armies, easily two favorite armies of Warhammer 40K are the Adeptus Mechanicus and the Grey Knights. I think they are awesome. The lore behind them, the stories, the characters, they're amazing. If you don't know who Belisarius Call is, look him up. You won't regret it. Okay? And the Grey Knights, I mean, they're the demon slayers of 40k. They are amazing. But my beef is that both of their armies, the units, they're kind of lame. Let's be honest. Nobody looks at the Adeptus Mechanicus and just thinks, oh man, these guys are so cool. Look how cool these mechanical human beings are. They, they look like the kids running around with frying pans on their heads. And they're walking around on giant stilts and, you know, flying around. And, like, don't get me wrong. There's, there's some charm to these models, but they're just not. I mean, why do people buy Space Marines? Because Space Marines are awesome. They're cool looking. Tyranids are cool looking. Orcs are freaking awesome looking. Adeptus Mechanicus are not. And Grey Knights? Well, let's put it this way. Uh, their big mechanical unit uh, looks like it's a dad with a baby strapped to his chest walking around Disneyland. And you're supposed to be afraid of that. Now, granted, big sword, big guns. That's kind of cool. But when you compare it to something like this it's not hard to see which one's a better option it's not hard to see which one's cooler and it, if if you disagree with me let me know why i would love to know why you think it's not <laughs> why you think the gray knights and the adeptus mechanicus are cool the way that they look to me they're not but their characters and their lore and everything about them is and so do I want an army? Yeah, I do. I want a Grey Knight army. Just not Games Workshops. And I think that they should be scared. They're not altering and changing their models fast enough. And when they are, they're not keeping them in stock. They're not keeping up with the demand that's out there. And when 3D printing came out and made everything so quickly and readily available, they're missing out on a huge portion of that. So should they be afraid? Yeah. Yeah, they should. 3D printing is not going away and it's just going to get bigger, better, and easier. If you don't believe me, look up any of your YouTubers that you like Games Workshop. 
and show me one that doesn't have any 3D printing videos and doesn't agree with it in at some point. Almost all of them out there agree that it's going that way. So jump on board. I am. Now, I've said before a bunch of times, I don't want Games Workshop to go anywhere. I think they're an incredible company. In fact, I love almost everything about them except for the way that they handle their business, the way that they sell their, their stuff, you know, I, their business practices. That's it. <laughs> I don't like how they do business. I love their lore. I love the, the world that they created. I love, you know, most things about Games Workshop. You know, even, even the gameplay, which I think is insanely difficult, but there's some charm to that. There's, some, there's a part of that that people want that people who play these games want. And the game is only going to get bigger. Well, with the shows coming out from Henry Cavill and everything else, Warhammer is not going anywhere. But for those same reasons, something needs to change. Something's gotta change with how they do their business because they're gonna be getting all of these new people that are interested in the hobby and they're gonna need, they're gonna want an easy way to get into it. And right now, there isn't one. You know, the easiest way to get into Warhammer is to fork over $500 and then pay somebody to paint an army for you. You know, which, again, part of the reason that we play this game, part of the reason that we make these armies is because we like the building aspect. There's no denying that. If you're in this hobby, generally you like that building aspect. You're not just in it to play. I'm sure there are people that are, but there's a lot cheaper hobbies out there if that's what you're into. So no, I don't want them to go anywhere. But I do kind of want them to be scared enough that they'll change something. Something's got to give. Something There's got to be an easier point to get into this game and slowly build your way up or something like that. And I know that they've made attempts, but it doesn't seem like they're really behind any of those attempts. They keep pushing games out just to let them die and disappear. Which... Thank goodness there's 3D printers who can keep them going. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to me rant a little bit about this. And I wonder if you agree. Do you think they're scared? Do you think that's why they aren't showing their models like I do? Or do you think there's some other reason? And if so, I'd love to know what that is. But as far as I'm concerned and from where I'm standing, it seems like... They're worried that 3D printers are going to beat them to the punch and they're going to lose out on those sales. You know, which would be a problem if they properly stocked everything and took care of everything. But I have other videos about that. <laughs> so if you want to look at those, feel free to go ahead. But thank you for joining me here. And if you like this content, please like, subscribe. This channel is about all things tabletop. And... That's kind of a big array of things, but we talk about painting, we talk about building terrain, we talk about playing actual games. We focus a lot on Games Workshop games, but we also focus on other games. We're going to have videos coming up for Malifaux and Infinity and other stuff like that. And as always, you know, I'm a big fan of War Machine. So if you like any of those or want to learn a little more about them, stick around, like, subscribe, Join the channel and help us grow and help us get this stuff out there. And if there's anything you ever want to know more about, drop a comment down below. Let us know and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have and make a video on it if there's a big enough need. So, thanks for your time. And as always, don't spend so much time in your world that you forget to spend some time in it. Until next time.